Hey guys, welcome back. I have tried this one before you kill the tough guy. Just watch it through the movie video and then you can say if you agree or don't agree. This one was hard because uh, Favre, I brought, I made two two tactics for Favre here. One is this one. But this is this is where I ended up at the first time. And I know you, when you look at this, you think this is crazy. This is not right and blah, blah, blah. But come on, guys, just wait, just wait one second. And the second one that I ended with is much more like this one. Uh, what I do when I make these tactics, guys, we are finished with the first season. Uh, and we are going to start the next season. What I do with these tactics when I make them for you guys, not for you guys, but when I start recopying them, is that I make them as... Um, I first make the tactic. I don't care about the season that much. Then I am just try to recreate a tactic that I can use later with other teams uh, so i first try to make it as similar as possible don't think about results keep it as similar as possible then when it's similar i try to adjust it a little bit to get the results that is they maybe get into real life uh, and with favre i know that i think dortmund got 66 points we got 65 points so we got one less point than dortmund in the league it was defeated with from uh, not defeated uh, out of the Champions League from Liverpool, five by nine great or something like that. But again, then we played with this one. So I ended up at this one and I kept twitching it, twitching it. And after I thought about the results, I come about this one. And the reason, the reason I started with this one, I'm just want, I'm gonna tell you how the favorite the deal goes, guys, is that. The main problem I had is that uh, in the football manager is that a, the, his team defends in a way, if I could do it this way, guys. He have a four-man lock as a defense like this. There's no problem ruining this one. Uh, like this, okay? So my problem is when I make this one, uh, th don't forget this one, okay? Forget this. Forget these five players here. Forget the wing backs. Forget the central backs. Okay, just concentrate about the midfield. They are flat four in blocks. They defend flat four in blocks. But then, if I make this in the football manager, I have a real problem because the formation you start with here is the formation that you're in a way defending with. So the, the thing is that they go. These four players go like this and the two players that are wing backs they are more man oriented based on how the opponent play so i watch tons of more games from him playing this uh, three i don't know how we can call it three five one or what what we're gonna call it or three four i don't know okay I, I'm, I'm not gonna set the uh, number and the formation i think the main thing is to make it look like it okay so at first think okay defensively then maybe i thought okay i will keep these players here and give them man mark roles and at the same time go to the uh, opposition's instructions and work it out there so i can get more because these po these two players defensively are a little bit more free in a way they not their free they have a role they have a person so they're gonna win the ball the thing with favor is guys we should start with the defending part is that Holland goes here and splits the defense, especially against three backs line. We're gonna go first on the three backs line, guys. Okay, we are playing as a three backs line. So when we're playing as a three backs line, is uh, Holland comes in between here and he splits the defense. And he, if you think that is the opponent have a three back line like this, Holland goes on Hummels here at this side of Hummels. Normally he pushed them to their left side, so Hummels have to go on Rashan and up here, and he locks down the player. Okay, so we're gonna stand like this. And when that happens, when the ball goes, when he attacks the central defender here, we are playing as a three backs line, okay? So he's coming here, he pushes this opponent, the central defender, to pass it to one of the sides. When the ball goes to the side defender, then, he, then this player starts his pressure, okay? He doesn't go all in, guys, but he comes and he keeps leading the player to play the ball to the wing back. Okay, you understand that? So first pressure is Hummels. In a way, we are playing against Hummels at this point. Holland goes to Hummels. Hummels passes the ball to Emre Can. Then you have, for example, Royce here pushing the ball here. He locks down the play. 
it doesn't let you play in inside they don't want to go in inside okay not at they don't want to play from your central defenders to the midfields so when they go about the ball goes wide here guys you go to the center defender here they keep still pushing you wide so i couldn't set it mark man marking either so as uh, some games did it but some games i didn't okay so we're gonna see why because if you're playing against a three back line that they have only wing back and no wingers so the thing is that the ball goes to the center defender they push the ball to a center defender from the center defender the ball goes to the wing back okay the wing back so in a way is a LLV we call it in a football term terminology is in a way that you call it that you lead them one way you lock down and when you have locked them you win the ball so Holland leads the ball he split them up he gets the ball from Hummels to Luis Felipe Luis Felipe goes to Guerrero they force the play to go to Guerrero when the ball is Guerrero they lock the game so each time the ball goes to the wing back they smash it on there is the point they're gonna win the ball then you got Sancho taking out the starting in a way from this point and the ball goes to the wing back he starts he joins the attack and he wants to win the ball there and he then gets help from this wing player wing player wing back the wing back is man marking the wing uh, wing back of our position team we are playing against a three back line okay so in a way and then Sancho comes and makes two on one what does the two player those two players in the middle do here they man mark those central players okay the man mark here sometimes for Witzel it can be too high to come up here he gets some help from Royce or Brandt or Hazard who is gonna be the other wing back winger from this side okay so in a way I had to make this happen I had to make the, get these two boys to pressure again especially against three backs lines up here and I had to make Holland go and split and again I had to make these players be more man mark oriented and when they get the ball they push them and they win the ball at the side seer when they win the ball at the side seer they're gonna stand in a way like this we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you how we're gonna stand they're gonna they stand like this I can say maybe he go in there he's gonna be in place mid between here right okay so he's there and he's there he comes up there and he comes there okay so you win the ball at this side right you can see the triangle you always have older they have and in that way they can attack through the middle they win the ball wide they attack through the middle that's a very special counter-attacking football uh, made from uh, very similar to what Mourinho did in Inter he wanted to lock he lead the opponent to the left to one of the sides when he had uh, a two and a two there in Champions League and he won the ball at the sides then they get the ball to the playmaker in the middle and they make run towards the goal they do the same thing but they do it higher up in the field they're locked it on the side because as you can see here the sideline they use that as an extra man in the field so if a fullback has the ball here he cannot go out here he cannot pass here the only way he can pass is this way so they get the ball here they lock the field here because the opponent cannot go further this way from the central points it's very hard to lock down Barcelona did that sometimes with Luis Enrique where uh, don't let, let's not go into that okay uh, so they want to get the ball at the sides when they get the ball in the sides here you want to get the ball to the middle and to the middle from there you start to run okay that's against three back lines. So you ask me what to do against a four back line it's similar it's very similar they do very similar at the defending there too but if they're playing out 4 3 3 you know you have a little more different because you cannot go at that high pressure all the times because then this uh, then sancho doesn't go off into the central defender he then goes more to the left back and this player will be marking more the winger so they still get the ball to the full back but they then start the attacking defensive part from the full back not this uh, wing back it's easier to do it against a three back line if you don't have a winger because that player is so isolated that is easy then the isolated player can easily humble give the ball pass back here to the central defender and they will shoot it high and that's very good for Dortmund because they got four in the back especially in Hummels in here who can just snap up every ball especially if they're high but, uh, high balls okay and they go offensively they in a way they work very hard then these two players come into the house spaces here okay 
And that was my one of the, my other problems. You have to make this defensively, but and you have to make these players come up in the pressure, but don't too high up in the field. But if I use them as an inverted wing by in inverted winger, they didn't they didn't dominate the half spaces enough. You know, they can, they could sometimes come here. I had to ask them to go more central, but they were, they kept. They kept wide areas too much, you know, and in a way, do you see the triangle here? You can see the triangle here you make here with these three players. It goes really fast. At this part of the field, Dortmund goes very slow, keeping the ball, low risk. But then it comes up to this point, he it's risk and it's short passing, 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two, and the ball goes forward. Very similar to Germany playing against Brazil. Uh, I'm not talking about the formation, but the style, you know, when you come up here, it goes really fast. And you give one, two, one, two, one, two, one pass here, we stand, and the other players start to go into the room, to the space, okay? So you have to make that happen. You have to, in a way, same time that you have easy playing here, keep it calm. You have to have players that own the half space. Sometimes they can have two players in the same half space to empty other side. To get it, for example, to Witzel, Witzel go high, then you got Hakimi coming in here and Hakimi doesn't play that wide okay so on my journey to make this happen I had to go with a Mezella because he to start with because the Mezella come here more I went also with advanced playmaker and here we don't kill me again okay I'm saying advanced playmaker yes he's not advanced playmaker coming here but let's forget the names of the roles and think where will this player stand in that formation okay so if we think about that that it will be a little bit easier so many many times i make these movies videos people say that you know that role is not right he's an advanced playmaker i've seen him he got the ball but you have to try it in the in the tactic and you have to see how it performs maybe advanced playmaker is a mazella in this setup a mazella maybe can do the same work as you can see advanced playmaker does in real life okay and one of the other problems was at this formation here, guys, was that Holland didn't score that many goals. He scored many goals in the season. He scored 26 goals. But when we played this, you really ruined, I ruined a lot because he didn't score that many goals, okay? So I went down, watched two more Favre games. I went an analyst at the whoscore.com. Every stat of the player, different player, different formation, different positions. And I came up with this one. You s maybe you see this is more similar. So what we ended up with was, I went back and saw again, Holland moves a lot. When they win the ball, he's a spare head here and he have the freedom to roam. Yes, of course, he get the ball sometimes in his feet, but he is not a poacher in the Dortmund style because the poacher is concentrating himself here to score goals. The advanced playmaker, He's the sparehead in that he gets the ball more and when he roams freely that's when Holland is really dangerous when he roams freely and that was where he was in a way so he scored a lot of goals that way I had some problems with Mr. Royce here because I didn't get him to work that much as AM support because the thing I did here tactically we ended up this way I'm gonna go fast to the tactics this is a setup of the tactic. You have two pivots, as you can see, that the two, two defensive midfielders keeping it here. The left central defender, those games I saw and the, the stats I saw, was not that much ball playing defender. So I took him take few chances, few risks, so get him to pass it simpler, easier to Hummels. That always plays in the middle here, and Emre Shan that lately played also this role. The problem you have in the game with Dortmund is that they don't have that many... Uh, they don't have many uh, how can I tell you what can I tell you they don't have many good central defenders when they start the game uh, so okay that's some part so what do you do with Hamas? you don't have nothing here you don't have nothing with Ember Sean uh, we are not going to the players you can watch the players yourself if you want to start a game here then you have the left you have Guerrero, Guerrero isn't it Guerrero he's staying wider he closed down more because as we, so we talked about it guys the left player, the wing players here are those at the wing areas here is where you have to win the ball at the sides, okay? So what does he do? We have push it out that he more urgently press, he marks tighter, he tackles harder, and his specific position is the right defender. But if you're playing against a team that you've seen 
if in advance that they're playing with a four, four line of defense, then this have to go to right back. So you have to go in here and 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 uh, do an adjustment from game to game. He stays wider. The reason he stays wider is because we're playing fair and narrow when we're going through the middle. So we need a little bit more stretching. So he also doesn't come inside here. Guerrero is a little bit more wider playing, especially in front here. Okay. And uh, then come to Delaney. Delaney, for me, this was more the Witzel role, to be honest with you. I saw lately, especially against um, Leipzig, I think it was, uh, Witzel played this role here. You can go defense and you can go support. It's up to you. Uh, both will work as well. This will work better in the results. This will be more maybe similar to true playing style. Uh, Witzel... And Brandt played here. Brandt had the ball much more. He came a little bit higher. Brandt dribbled a lot also. So you could almost go with the roaming playmaker, but the roaming playmaker takes too much uh, of the game and he joins the attack too much, to be honest, because they stand more here. So you go for the applying playmaker and support. So this was more Brandt here, as I see I have sold that guy. Uh, at the right, this is Hakimi. Hakimi comes also more inside. He got more free roll to advance. He normally stands higher up than Guerrero in the build up of the game. So he's at the side. So, uh, what does we have gone a lot for him here too? He's a complete wing back in support. I didn't dare to go and attack. He pressed more urgently because, again, we want to be in the ball at the sides. He's more specific person, his wing back. But again, if you're playing as a flat four line, you should go and change this to a left defender he tackles harder and uh, he crossed from byline and he crossed more often because when he doesn't cross in the game he starts to do crazy shit things here that was maybe my hakimi in the game and not the true hakimi okay so so bear that in mind so yeah then you had royce and you have sancho and i have to say also that my young players such as Giovanni Reina here we played really well he got a lot of many many games he played normally in this role over here when we played this formation Royce played well when we played the other formation Royce was here as a central midfield in attack or Mazzello whatever it's gonna be that game he didn't play that well so but then you have to do some things with Royce those times Royce plays the game if you wanted to make him work in this game I'm not talking about the two. Okay, so these three players, when they get the ball, especially when he comes over this line over here and Guerrero the, the same, these player things happen much faster. Is more one twos and it goes fast and it goes directly towards goal and it goes really really narrow. They go through middle here all the time. Okay, so we start with Royce here. What we have take is. He, we want him to take more direct passing because when he gets the ball in support here, duty, it's when he gets the ball, you, you want it to get forward. When they come into the house spaces, it's directly forward they go, okay? So we took I took more direct passes, but Royce works better if you don't have this on. But Giovanni, on the other hand, Giovanni... Raina was much better when he had much, much better, but was a better with more direct passes. Royce didn't get involved in the match that much. He shoot mother off and get forward forward because when the ball is here, they get forward, they roam from positions, they do a lot. Sancho sometimes, this right player comes sometimes over here. Not changing places, but you have suddenly him here and him there. You have, and Holland also comes over this side, so you got a true you at the, the side. So they roam a lot. He stays wider and that's only at the left side because they overload the left side much more so he, he have to go this way sometimes to the half space sometimes over here so you can get Sancho also over here uh, and as well as that stay wider tackle harder mark tighter why because when again these players gonna go start the first defending is from Holland and when they go into the pressure, it starts. Then we're going to win the ball. They're going to lock it down. They're going to win the ball from this player, this player. These two players here, they're going to stand off a little bit more, marking tighter in a way, and win the ball. So, okay, so Royce goes over here. Then you have Sancho. He also goes more. He's a more shadow striker. You get him more forward in the game. Uh, you can also make them change roles in the game if you want to. 
He's more direct passes, he's roaming from his position and he's staying wider as well. I could, since I used him as a complete wing back, I needed to get him out there to support. So again, this in real life, this is not there, but I had to tuck it in to get the results. You get more results. So if you're playing with Royce here, don't go direct passes. And you can see why over here, his uh, vision is good, but his passing is 11. I don't want to compose you 12. But when you take this off, more direct passes, he scores only more goals. Uh, you have then hold on at top as he tackles harder, he marks tighter, he marks specific person. That's the thing here. He marks the center defender DS, not the DSL or DSR. So when you're playing against a uh, flat four, he have he he's not marking any player. Okay, but when you're playing a three three back line, he goes straight to the central central defender and he marks him out and take him out of the game. So when they get the ball to the, these two wide players here, they cannot switch the ball from side to side. He will mark the player here. So when we go to the positive, we can go positive, we can go also more attacking. We had to do some adjust adjustments. I think they play narrow. I think they even play more than fairly narrow on positive. They play really narrow, but you will have a hard time getting results if you go too narrow here. Uh, they focus play through the middle. Yes, Hakimi and Guerrero is there, they're scoring goals and crosses, but it goes through this part of the game over here. So you get Hakimi more inside here. And the players, these three players, is the most important player to link up. By using him as a uh, complete wing back, you will get some, you will get a lot of points from this player, especially if he's a fast player. So Hakimi got his chance of play. They play out of defense, so they keep the ball. They don't get so much long balls, guys. They keep the ball here. When they go to the half space, they explode. Passing is shorter. The tempo is higher. It goes fast. But in the same way, the build-up is slower. So this gave me a lot of problems in this game. This gave me a lot of problems, but I think we work it out. And they go low crosses because they don't lift it on the back post and things like that. They keep it low. They cross to the feet. Uh, again, very similar to the German style of play in World Cup. Uh, the run at defense, because the run at defense is those players when you have the ball here. When they get it here, they go forward, guys. It's not a camping. So if he dribbles, he dribbles. Even Holland dribbles here as a main spearhead at the attack here. They counter press because, yes, Favre is more cautious in his pressing than the other ex-coaches but still he got that counter pressing especially in the league you can maybe take this away when you're playing against uh, in champions league when possession has been won they counter favre is well known for his countering counter attacks it's great to set up counter attacks slow pace down when you get the ball outside again from this part of the field from your own half you're keeping it slow uh, take short kicks so yeah and higher line of engagement higher line of defensive line is very hard to say because they they normally go on a normal block uh, we are not talking about when they straightly lose the ball we're talking about when the keeper the opposition keeper got the ball they normally go on normal block but they switch from low blocks to high blocks sometimes they're very good in switching the pressure uh, but normally they go higher and also, if you're gonna go very, very realistic, you should take this one and take it here. But it didn't work with this team. It didn't work. They conceded a lot of goals. Because you're pushing your opponents wide, and suddenly you're going small here. It gave it, it gives you a problem. Uh, prevent short, short goal kick distribution. I really don't know what this does anymore in modern football with the new rules. The central defenders are already inside here. They have to do something with this one. And the pressing intensity is more urgent because when they go when they go to the left back here, for example, and he passes the ball in here, then you are past the line of engagement, then the pressure from these guys are is high. They are marking, they're going high. They're going really aggressive. So that's the one. You use offside trap basically because Hummels is very slow in the defensive line and you're going to stand high up in the field. Yes, he's very slow, guys. Nine in slow. Okay. So, opposition. Instructions. Are you ready? 
So if the right back have the ball, the left back have the ball. It's the same if have the ball, but you don't mark them. Okay, you don't mark the right back and left back because then then your player is gonna stand on them. They don't do that. They wait till they have the ball, then they pressure. The RDL is normally on a four back line. So when a four back line, they wait to the center defender, pass the ball to the full back, then they attack. Right. So this is very similar to this one, DSR very similar but since the dr sometimes come up far up in the field they are a little bit even more aggressive on the fullback winning the ball so he tackle him harder you're pressing him how intensity is harder you tackle him harder and you show him to the wrong foot because when the ball comes wide i first wanted to get the ball from the fullback up to the wing but you will get a lot of problems because you have sometimes Defending in your own half <laughs> if you are pushing them to the their right foot you will get a lot of crosses in Okay, uh, so you push them at the wrong foot and you get them back again because you are locked them up, right? You have locked them up the ball is here You want them back here hold on is there you're gonna scramble them up here. Okay opposition guys we go back here and you have the central defender. The central DS is different from the other players because DS is playing when you have a three lap, three back line. He's marked tighter, yes, because Holland is marking marking him. Pressing intensity is high, and we are also tackling him harder as Holland is there. He sets a extremely high pressure on the player. Showing on the foot, don't tackle that because he can go right and left. It's not a matter. We're gonna lock the side at the right and left. You stand the same way at the right, they do the left side. DSRL and DSR, again, when this is, this can be, have been used both in the four back line and three back line. So then you have a little bit of problem here. But you press them, intensity is higher because then you get those two wingers, midfielders, what you want to call them, to press them harder in the middle here. And you also show them into, for example, DSL to the left, to his left foot. You want them, you want the ball to get to the full back and start the attack, or to the wing back. Right, right, you go to the right. And wing back is normally when you use a three back line. Then is similar in a way to the to the full backs, but you mark them tighter. The reason is they are higher up in the field, closer to your wing back. Then the wing back will do his job. DM is marked tighter. Remember, when you take this marking tighter, the player is not running after him all the game. You know, he's running after him when he can get the ball, when he's in the zone to get the ball, and that's what's happened. When the ball goes to the fullback, DM comes to get the ball. He will be marked. The same with DMSL and DMSR. Defensive midfield right, defensive midfield uh, center left. Uh, the MRs and ML is not that many times used in the Bundesliga. But it will be the same as a winger, right? If they have MR, they have no AMR, okay? MCs, as you can see, we don't mark them because he's not the player who comes normally down to get the ball. That's the DMs. So, but they are even still pre pressing intensity is higher because if you also go mark here, it will be extremely unrealistic. Then the players go one on one all the game long. It, they should have one for build up and one on your own half. So because it's different how they defend on their opponent's half and how they defend in their own half. So I couldn't take this. Maybe they sometimes mark the players when they are in the build up, but then don't mark them man man when they are in their field. It is very stupid in the game when you mark one of these players. Suddenly one of your players standing upside because upside up in the field because the MC got the ball. Strange. Okay. Anyway. Uh, the wingers are marked tightly, they are tackled hard and it can give you some free kick against you, they can give you some problems in the game but in the real life they do it and you want to win the ball at the wide area of the field and then you want to attack the middle as we have set it up here and uh, you want to win the ball wide, you want to get the ball to the middle and one two one two get it forward, you get him up, you get him up and you score, you will stand down with five players so results with this tactic was very good the results was much better than this one uh, yeah we have changed the rules since we changed them so this will be the one i will call the favorite so if i play one more season with them i will go with this one the results was great uh, very s true kind of goals that we got in the real real game uh, in the real life not the game so 
Guys, I hope you liked it. Some of you had asked for the favorite style and I tried to make it as well as possible. I know it's not optimal. I know you would maybe do something else, but that's the cool thing here at we see it differently and that's football if, if it was so easy everyone would, would do it and then another coach would copy Favreva but the main thing I think is uh, hard to make it here guys is that you don't have that many good central defenders uh, again this is not a tactic that I would say is the best tactic in the football manager but this is if you want to play similar to Favreva and get the results this will be the one from my point of view that will be a good way to do it uh, you will have the Favre style you will have a lot similarity to it and then we get the results as well uh, so I hope you liked it guys if not I really don't know what to do thank you guys